Okay, so then uh, this programming consists of two steps. Okay, the first step we are going to generate data, data generating process. And then in the second step, we are going to estimate it, estimate the uh, true parameters estimation. Okay. Okay. So in this step, we are going to uh, generate uh, dependent variables. Then to do this, we need to specify the true values first. So then true values for beta 1. Say true beta 1. Of course, 1 and true beta 2 equals 2 and true sigma square because say 0.5 okay okay then observations number of observations then let me say 100 okay here Here's number of observations. Observations. Okay. So this this percentage mark is actually this just footnote. Okay. So this after this this character, this is not reco recognized by the metric. So you can put any any explanation or footnotes here. And same for this here. And if you have two percentage marks then this means just one paragraph okay so this is distinguished by by the color if you put cursor here then this part is just yellow here is yellow and then now here is yellow uh, and we are going to do more work so then this is not quite convenient visually so let me change the location of the um, edit window let me put this yeah right this looks better and then worker space is not necessary for now Here, let me close it okay looks better okay or then simply oh yeah better switch no. Yeah, this is better. Right. Okay. Right. Okay. So we specify the true parameters and number of observations. Then we are ready to generate the data. The uh, dependent variables. Oh no, so independent variables. X. X must be T by two matrix, right? T by two matrix, and then but the first column must be once, then once. Keep T out. Let me say x1, x1. The first, the uh, dependent, uh, independent variable is the uh, interceptor, which is once. Keep T comma one, right? So this is keep T by one vector. X2. X2 must be uh, must be very over individuals or time. So then let's say then but still this could be random variable. Let's say rent kept comma one. Right. So this is random number generator from uniform distribution over over between zero and one. Right? So then T by one. This is uniform torus, uniform samples generated from the uniform distribution. Okay, and then let me multiply 10. Okay, let me explain why I put 10 here. Then x, x is uh, the matrix of the independent variables. So then the first column is x1. 
the second column is x2 okay this is how to connect connect the two different uh, vectors or matrix and for this of course the number of rows must be the same x1 the number of rows is kept t and the number of rows of x2 is also kept t right so that's why it's that's why it's possible to to connect x1 x2 and make one matrix which is x sorry and put kept t by 2 now and then okay here then true beta now true beta true beta must be 2 by 1 so then this is vector column vector right so then first one is true beta 1 and in the second row then true beta 2 Okay, so then this is now 2 by 1. 2 by 1. So now y equals x times true beta plus error term. Error term must have the zero mean. Then just we are going to assume normal distribution of course normal, normality is not required in 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 uh, ordinary research squares though okay rand n okay rand n this is a random number generator from normal distribution okay dimension must be kept t by one okay but this is standard normal but what we want is the standard norm, uh, normal distribution with the variance 0.5 then we have to multiply square root of true sigma 2 times rand and kp comma 1 okay. so this is dependent variable Right. Okay. Right. So now we have finished the uh, generating dependent variables or data generating process. Okay, just to make sure this code is correct. Okay, let me run it and to see whether there is any error messages. Run it. Okay, I see there is no error messages. Right. So one is assigned to true beta one. I choose, you can choose, you, you can try with it, uh, different numbers, 0 0.5, 7, whatever, it doesn't matter. And true beta 2 is 2. Okay. I chose it. Okay. And true beta is the vector of true beta 1 and beta 2. And true sigma square is 0 0.5. It could be 5, 1, 2, it doesn't matter. Okay. And number of observations is specified at 100. Okay. It could be 200. It doesn't matter. Then this intercept, intercept term. So that's why it should be a factor of ones. And then covariance must be covariance across individuals over time, over all time. So that's why we use uh, just uniform samples. The random is generated from uniform distribution. Okay, and this is the uh, kt by 2, the matrix of independent variables. Right? So then we are ready to generate dependent variables. Right? Because according to this model, this is how depend, dependent variable y is determined. How? So then, exogenous variable x is given, and true parameters are given, although it's unknown so in, in practice. And then, then there is something else which is not explained by the, by the uh, independent variables. Okay. This is how dependent variable y is generated or determined according to the mother okay so then we are done with data generating process in short we say dgp okay the next step is the estimation then just try the dgp first 